Yes, it is safe for people with diabetes to drink alcohol in moderation. Drinking is a personal choice, whether you drink or not and how much. But actually there are some things that people with diabetes need to remember. Alcohol can affect your blood glucose levels, so things like lagers, ciders, ales will actually have carbohydrates that will push your blood glucose levels up. Things like dry wine, champagne and white spirits have less carbohydrates that have less an effect on your blood glucose levels. Another thing to remember is if you're drinking excessively, particularly on an empty stomach, you're more likely to get low blood glucose levels or a hypo. Now this can actually happen pretty soon after you start drinking, but can carry on until 24 hours later. One thing to remember is that the symptoms of a hypo can often be mistaken for signs of somebody being drunk. If you're on any insulin or certain medications like sulfonylureas, they can also cause your blood glucose levels to drop. If you have any nerve damage, which is caused by your diabetes, drinking alcohol can actually make it worse. So it can actually increase the pain, the numbness and the tingling sensation that you have. And like for most of us, alcohol can actually affect our appearance, so premature aging, cause you to put on weight, and actually in the longer term can lead to things like cancer, heart disease and liver damage. We often get asked how much is too much. So the recommended amount is three to four units a day if you're a man and two to three units a day if you're a woman. But what does that actually mean in the real world? What it means is four single measure spirits, a pint and a half of 4% lager or a pint and a half of cider, about 4.5%, 250 more glass of wine being 13%. And over here we have two to three units for women. And what that means in the real world is either three single measures of spirits or a pint of lager, about 4%, or a pint of cider, 4.5%, or 175 more glass of wine, we're looking at 13%. But the thing to remember is, over the years, measures in a pub have got larger, the strength of alcohol has actually gone higher, and at dinner parties and at home, people tend to free pause, so you actually lose track of how much you're drinking. So the most important message is, stick to your units every day, which would be spirits, or lager, or wine, not all of them, and try not to save up your units all for a weekend.